What's up guys, Lifting here with another build concept video for my Cock Flicker Terminus S Assassin. The build is fairly cheap to get going, but if you want to take it into late game maps, you'll have to acquire a 6 link body armor, which of course can be expensive. But other than that, it is pretty cheap and you can get it going with just a Tabula Rasa, a Terminus S sword, and at least 4 points invested into your Assassin Ascendancy tree. Unfortunately, I died on this character at level 73 as I was doing my first ever 24 hour stream and may have been looking at my Twitch chat rather than my character while attacking a monster with corrupting blood. So yeah, that was it. With that in mind, I'm sure you can take this build into late game maps as long as you just pay attention and use the correct gear. The Terminus S sword and the Assassin class is what makes this build possible. The concept is that every time you crit while having the Terminus S sword equipped, you will gain a Frenzy Charge. These Frenzy Charges then allows you to bypass the internal cooldown of Flicker Strike and allows you to keep using it without any downtime. To get a high enough crit chance to make this reliable and proc your cast on crit spells, we utilize the increased Critical Strike gem and the Assassin Ascendancy class, specifically the Ascendancy node Deadly Infusion, which grants 8% multiplier and 0.5 base crit chains per power charge. This together with 6 or 7 power charges being active, easily puts you between 80 to 90% crit chains, making your cast on crit setup and frenzy charge generation very reliable. To generate power charges, this build utilizes the Assassin node, Unstable Infusion, and a cast when damage taken setup linked with Blade Vortex, power charge on crit, and increased duration. To protect yourself against damage and prevent yourself from dying to reflect, this character also uses a Blasphemy Warlord's Mark and Enfeeble setup. If you prefer more damage and easier access to power charges, you can take out Enfeeble and add in Assassin's Mark. Warlord's Mark serves to grant you Endurance Charges and Leech, which together with Ball Pack will prevent you from killing yourself to physical reflect damage. That said, if you encounter a Curse Immune monster with physical reflect, you have to be very careful as if you keep attacking that monster over and over, you will have no leech and ball pack will not save you from reflect. So keep that in mind. To level this build, I recommend using Blade Vortex until around level 55 or 60. Then do both Normal and Cruel Labyrinth to obtain the Unstable Infusion and Deadly Infusion Ascendancy Nodes. Once you have these and can utilize at least 5 Power Charges and your Terminus S Sword, you can start to use your Flicker Strike Cast on Crit setup in a Tabula Rasa. Later on, if you want to do high level maps, you should of course get yourself a decent 6 link. A lightning coil, for instance, would be very nice. Besides that, using a diamond flask in the beginning to boost your crits before encountering a monster pack is a good idea as well. And if you can't find one, get yourself a Terminus S sword with a plus one to maximum power charges corruption, as that will greatly boost your crit chains and make the rest of the gearing easier. They seem fairly easy to corrupt yourself and that's what I did, but I'm not sure about the actual chains to do it. The flicker setup I'm currently running here is flicker strike, multi strike, cast on crit, increased critical strikes, blade fall and blade vortex. If you prefer you can instead of blade vortex use ethereal knives. Besides that you'll want to scale as much evasion as possible and run acrobatics and get life in your skill tree. And this is the build concept guys, I will leave build instructions in the description for anyone interested in trying out the build for themselves. Subscribe for more Path of Exile content and check out my IRL channel. Thank you for watching and bros, do you even nerd. What's up guys, Lifting here. This is a build concept video for one of my latest creations, a high life regen, self cast, burn, prolift, discharge, juggernaut. The motto of the build is one discharge, one baby. I mean one discharge, lots of kills of course.